Mark Jessen used to be jobless and homeless. He went from a shelter to SAP. How has SAP changed your life? For the first time in my life, I'm working somewhere where I'm doing what I'm really good at in an environment that's very supportive and I feel respected and I have a fantastic team of people that I work with and I work at a fantastic company, so it's, it's been a real life changer. Mark, who's on the spectrum, is an IT technology consultant in Global Network Services, thanks to SAP's Autism at Work program. To encourage neurodiversity at other companies, the software giant hosted nearly 200 customers, execs, and influencers at the inaugural Autism at Work Summit in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. SAP started the Autism at Work program in 2013. We are live now in seven countries, and in 2016 we will be adding South Korea and Australia. 1% of the world's population is considered on the autism spectrum. 80% of them are unemployed. Today we count with 100 employees globally. We employ contractors, interns, and full-time employees. So I'm very thankful to be working for S with SAP and being a part of the team. Knowing, you know, I have support of the whole company from Jen Morgan um, on down. Their programs become a model for like-minded companies like Microsoft. I think we're all invested in changing the unemployment rate for people with disabilities. We've brought in 22 folks to campus. We've hired 50% of it. How has SAP inspired HPE's hiring practices? So it's an opportunity to collaborate. It's also an opportunity to network, to share ideas, and really to look at ways in which we can grow the program. Governor of Delaware, Jack Markell, says government can help by preparing youth for the expectation of a lifetime of work. The progress uh, and the commitment that SAP has made to this Autism at Work program is extraordinary. And if other companies follow the lead, we're gonna have a very different world. But more needs to be done, like pooling resources in common parts of programs with other companies to reduce cost, and helping businesses understand that hiring employees with disabilities will benefit them. Autistic employees are very, very loyal. They like structure, they're very meticulous. So it's not just that hiring autistic people is like the kind thing to do. Companies will actually benefit by having autistic people in the workforce. SAP, which has operated this Autism at Work program for several years now, is now sharing the knowledge that it's developed with other employers, setting an example for the rest of the business community, both here in the United States and globally. SAP eliminated the traditional interview process to accommodate autistic hires. A month-long screening and workshop focuses on soft skills, etiquette. The candidate determines what form the final interview takes. SAP is the, the first global company who stood up and said, we believe in this. And the summit today is just a celebration. We're not just doing it. We're also encouraging everyone else as thought leaders in this space. Mark Jessen had years of disastrous interviews, but thanks to SAP's support, he nailed a job and secured a future. The talk is always about return on investment. It's there. Find out who we really are. Really tap into our skill sets because we're really good. And we will return on that investment.